Next, let's practice classification tree algorithm for classifying the wine samples. This time using the boosting ensemble method. An ensemble is a technique for combining multiple weak learners in an attempt to create a strong learner by taking a weighted vote of their individual classifications or predictions. In this example, the weak learner is a classification tree. Here is the data set with information about wine including 13 variables that describe properties of wine from three different vineyards. The goal is to assign a wine classification to each record. First, we need to partition the data into training and validation sets. Training set to train the model and validation set to test the model's predictive power. You can either click on the partition button in the data mining section of the ribbon or use the partition on the fly feature in the algorithm dialog box. Let me show you how. Select the cell within the data and click on classify, choose classification tree and now click on boosting. Select type as our output variable. This is the wine type which we are going to assign to each of the records. Select all the remaining variables as selected variables and click on next. Here, let's keep the default boosting algorithm and leave the number of weak learners as the default value of 50. Let's choose normalize input data. Since the active worksheet is an unpartitioned data set, Excel Miner offers a partition data checkbox in this dialog. Let's check this box. Now all of the standard partition options are available. Let's keep the defaults and click on Next. Here, let's select the detailed and summary reports for score training data and score validation data and click on finish. Here is the output of the classification tree algorithm. Worksheets containing the output of the ensemble method boosting algorithm will be inserted at the end of the workbook. In this worksheet, you can view the output navigator. You can click any link in this section to navigate to various sections of the output. Let's click on ensemble details. Excel Miner assigns a weight to each weak learner. The importance percentage for each variable measures the variable's contribution in reducing the total misclassification error. Next, let's click on Training a Score Summary Report. Here we can view the classification confusion matrix. The confusion matrix displays counts for cases that were correctly and incorrectly classified in the training and validation datasets. No records were misclassified in the training dataset. Let's scroll down to validation data scoring summary report. Only two records were misclassified in the validation data resulting in a person error of 2.8. Now let's compare the ensemble boosting method results with those from a single tree. Select the cell within the data and click on classify, classification tree. Now choose single tree. Excel Miner automatically recalls and repeats the selected variables. Let's click on next. Let's choose normalize input data. Let's accept the maximum number of three levels. Minimum number of records in a terminal node is selected by default. Let's keep the default value of 17. Let's check the partition data and keep the default settings. Let's select prune tree. When prune tree is selected, Excel Miner will prune the tree using the validation set. Now click on next. Here, let's select full tree and best prune tree. Let's select detail and summary reports for both score training and validation data. And click on finish. Here is the output of the classification tree algorithm. Now let's click on full grown tree, 
to view the full tree constructed for this example. Here are the number of training observations in each terminal node. The structure of the full tree will be clear by reading the full tree rules. Here click on full grown tree rules. Let's click on train score summary report. Here is the confusion matrix. There was one case misclassified in the training data. Let's scroll down. As you can see, there were eight cases misclassified in the validation data resulting in a percent error of 11.2. As we can see, classification three ensemble methods are very powerful and typically result in better performance than a single tree.